Hello friends, in this video tutorial, I am going to explain how we can implement web scraping in Python using beautiful suite. Okay, there are mainly two ways to extract data from a website. You can use the API of the website. For example, Facebook provides is the graph API, the Facebook graph API, which we can use to retrieve data from Facebook. So other websites, many other websites also provide their APIs. API means application program interface. Okay, so what if, if a website doesn't provide you an API? How will you assess the data from that website? Okay, so for that, you will need to assess the HTML of that web page and then extract some useful information out of it. And this technique is called web scraping or web harvesting or web data extraction. So what are the steps involved in web scraping? Um, of course, first of all, you will need to have the HTML content of that web page and to get the HTML content, you will need to send a HTTP request to the URL of the web page that you want to assess. So for this, we will be using a third party library called requests. Okay. And then after once we have assessed the HTML content, we have to parse that HTML content by parsing. I mean that we need to create an object which is in that like tree like structure so that I can easily navigate or search through that parsed tree. Okay, so for making the parser tree, you will be using a library called HTML5 lib. It is a HTML parsing library. And for th navigating and searching through our data or the parsed tree, we will be using another Python library called beautiful soup. Beautiful Soup is a very nice library which is built over the top of other HTML parser libraries for pulling out data out of the HTML and XML files easily. Okay, now let's get started. First of all, you will need to do some installations of the libraries that we will be using the request library, the HTML5 library, and the BS4 package which contains the Beautiful Soup. So you can install all these using the pip commands. Okay, so which website we are going to use in this video tutorial? So we are going to use values.com site, which provides some quotes here, yeah, you can see. So my motive is to get this quote, okay, to extract this data. So for this, I will be, first of all, I will be using the request library to get the HTML content of that web page. So first of all, I create a response object. Okay, defining the URL and then getting the URL. So here, first of all, I have created a response object. Okay, now I have to parse the HTML content. How will I do it? So, um, I will be importing beautiful soup library from BS4 package import beautiful soup and then creating a soup object. Soup is equal to beautiful soup and passing the HTML content resp.content and uh, you have you can also specify the parser html parser you are going to use html 5 lib is the most advanced parser available because it follows the html 5 standards okay so here we have created a soup object and now you can see how your html looks using soup.prettify method so here you go this is all the HTML content of our web page. Now I'm interested in getting the relevant data, the data about the quotes, right? So let us see. This is all the HTML content here also. So I'm interested in those quotes, right? So here you can see div class row. In that there is another div ID container. And in that you can see there are the quote elements. This is first quote element, then this is the second one, and then as it goes on, right? So, first of all, I need to go to this 
this div element whose id is container and then this div element contains all other div elements whose class is code and contain all the information about that code right so let us see how we can do it i call it table table is equal to sup.find a div element now i can specify the attributes of that div element so it had id equal to container right so you can specify the attributes in a dictionary like object so we have here done that now print table dot prettyfy you can use that so when i run this here you go i have got that div id equal to container element and inside it you have these div class equal to quote these div elements so we have got this table it's also a soup object but now it only contains that portion of your html whose id was container right so in this way we have reduced the amount of the html that we are focusing on now um, let us call it quotes equal to uh, rather okay fine you can say it quotes is equal to soup dot find all okay one more thing soup dot find method will provide you the html con html only first html content which matches the query that you have specified but soup dot find all will search for all the elements html elements which are uh, which are according to that query so here we go dev attributes is equal to um, class is quote as you have seen right and uh, now you can simply print quote zero is this okay so now we are focusing on just one quote you can say here you can see dev class quote and then all the information about it but still it is in the html format and what i am interested is in is to convert it to something like a dictionary you can say right so let us see how we can do that i will call it my quote is a dictionary right so first of all my quote is equal to okay first of all let me say the html quote as quote zero okay now first of all in this quote i want to get let's say the theme of the quote which is a believe in yourself okay so i want to get that how can i pass that you can simply do it something like this quote dot h5 dot text okay so simply quote dot h5 dot text will retrieve the text out of that h5 element right so let us see you can see that now our dictionary contains one key theme whose value is believe in yourself right now simply we can add some more things like uh, you may be interested in getting these lines right so these lines are contained inside a h6 element h6 tag so i will write my lines my quote lines is equal to quote dot h6 dot text simply right so you can write that it one minute okay and now let me see how my my code looks like now so here you go it contains another key lines which is containing this okay similarly you can do like author
my quote author is equal to quote dot now this author is contained inside an p tag the paragraph tag of the html so you can simply write quote dot p dot the text right and uh, you can see that you have the author here also now i'm interested in finding the image right the image of that tag so image of that quote right so here is this image element image and inside it here is some attribute called src the source of the image i am specifically interested in this url okay so how can we can do it let's see my code let me name it image url and this is equal to code dot img now see we are not going to take any any more html element we are interested in the attribute of the html html element so to get the attribute of the html element you can treat it like a dictionary so i just simply put it source as a key so now we have the image url here right so you have to understand the difference between a html element and the attribute of that html element similarly if you want to find the url of that code itself like here so i am interested in the href attribute of the anchor tag inside the code so my code simply its url is equal to code dot img oh sorry code dot a and then href right so simply now you have the author the image url the lines the theme and the url so this is how we have uh, created a dictionary out of all the html that we were provided now we can apply it to all other things so let us see how we can do it let me say my quotes equal to a list for quote in quotes my quote it will be an empty dictionary and let me copy it all and then at last i will append it to that my quotes dot append to that list right so so now you have a complete list of the dictionaries in which each dictionary contains the all in the metadata or the information about that quote you can simply type my quotes and here you go all the quotes so let's say i'm interested in the fifth quote and i want to find the lines related to that fifth quote right so just type it so that's it so this is what the we can do with web scraping we can get all the data from a website or the web page and convert it to structured data or the relevant data that we are interested in using thank you